know that you can have it, yeah. Though the best in life don't ever come easy, you don't have to worry. See, it's all about the journey, yeah. So we're climbing high. Stop till we take it to the top Coming higher, higher Every day we're getting stronger, stronger In our bones is a desire, desire And you know we don't stop Never stop till we take it to the top All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. If I can have your attention, please. We would like to welcome you and thank you for coming out this evening to share with us a special occasion here for Bellino as we celebrate this grand opening event. Without further ado, we would like to start the formalities by inviting for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Okay, now we're gonna have Mr. Um, Lars van der Hagen cut the first ribbon. And the first ribbon stands for quality and leadership. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna have Mr. John Coppola cut the second ribbon, which stands for prosperity. Big round of applause. And the last but not least, the third ribbon, which stands for community, we welcome Mayor Mark Bowen. So as we continue our formalities of the evening, we're going to have the president of the company, Mr. Lars van der Hagen, start out with the first speech of the evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. First, I would like to uh, welcome three representatives of our customer base, our partners who are the most important this night, because without our customers, we wouldn't have this building. Belima wouldn't exist. 
So we have here uh, the company Roskin represented tonight by Tom Edwards, the uh, CEO. And you see also uh, Roskin products throughout the building, Roskin dampers. Yeah. The market leader in dampers worldwide. Then we have uh, the chiller manufacturer because we need to cool the building in summer. Multi Stack, they make the best chillers in the world. Our here, Jeff from Multi Stack, represents our partner Multi Stack over there. And then also the uh, components, chillers and dampers and actuators, they have to work, they have to be networked and for that we have a uh, controls contract and the repre it is represented tonight by ABS, the controls contractor, the best and largest controls contractor in Connecticut and the owner is here tonight along with a whole team, Jerry Chesley. Then I would like to welcome uh, all the dignitaries who are here, who helped move the building process and accelerate the, the process uh, throughout the phases of building this great location. First and foremost, of course, the mayor, Mark Bouton from Danbury. Who we, who, we, who we will hear later, and then also Tom Fanning from Ability Beyond. Then of course all our employees, uh, all our employees from Danbury who are located here, then our whole sales, outside sales organization is here. Where are you? Yeah. the powerful Belimo outside sales organization. Meanwhile, we are about 80, 80 sales managers out there from Canada down to Brazil. So thank you for traveling all the way here, enjoying this building. Then also we have here our uh, global responsible for production, Louis Scheidecker from Switzerland, responsible for logistics, Andy Wetley, and our uh, head of uh, research and development, head of innovation and member of the executive committee, Peter Schmidlin. Uh, so, it's quite amazing if you think about four years ago, we started to look for a location for this building and uh, the architect from slam they did a rendering and that rendering four years ago we just saw that rendering of the building and the amazing thing now that it's complete the building looks exactly like the rendering which normally it doesn't right normally the real building doesn't look as nice as on the rendering but this building looks even better than on the rendering so it's amazing and it still feels like a dream every day when i drive up the hill and see this great new location great new home so now we want to look a little bit into this uh, building process, how this looked four years ago. And for that I ask uh, John Coppola, who was uh, responsible for the project as a project director, of course, along with many, many Belimo employees who ran this project and built their own location. John, please. Thank you, Lars. So, when I was putting the slides together for this, I had hundreds and hundreds of pictures to look through. And I just found myself going back through the pictures time and time again, because I just couldn't believe where we are today from where we started, which was that. An abandoned building sitting here for 16 years, an old house, a bunch of satellite dishes, a swimming pool, all kinds of stuff. But one thing we had was a beautiful location and lots and lots of dedicated people. It wasn't too long after we had this that we had a clean slate. 
the building was gone, we had a clean slate, a piece of land, and then you could actually say, okay, we're starting on our way to that picture, that rendering that Lars was just talking about. When you have that piece of paper in your hand, you say, how could it be? There's all this dirt, all these rocks. There was times where I just couldn't believe it ever was gonna happen. But really, really quickly, after we got from here, all of a sudden, we had foundation, we had walls. That was in May of 2013. And then, just quickly, steel was up. It seemed so easy, but there was so many people all in this room that helped along in this process. Day after day, night after night, Saturday, Sunday, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning, there was dedicated people as part of this project. We moved along, the building starts to take shape. The first Bulima Orange shows up in March of 2014. As soon as I saw the orange, I knew the light was at the end of the tunnel. June of 2014, we had orange and we had green, we had some grass. The building was almost where I wanted it to be. October, we had flowers, we had glass. Everybody was coming up, everybody was looking at it. The excitement inside the building at Old Ridge Bay Road was just getting kind of to a fever pitch. We had to hold everybody down, clean up, clean up, throw stuff away. That's, that's all we heard for like months. We gotta get ready to go. And then here we are today with all you guys here, everybody who was part of this project, you're standing in the middle of it now, in front of the ASRS, inside the building. All the dignitaries are here, everybody who helped out. This has been great. This is an unbelievable home. And I thank everybody for everything that they put into this. So thank you very much. Thank you, John. And thank you again to the Belimo team, uh, project team of the building. Amazing job. So now we have a uh, very special uh, guest here. Uh, our collaboration with Ability Beyond is very important. And we work with Ability, Ability Beyond since many, many years, since more than 10 years, in a very successful uh, partnership. And today, we have actually the one here who uh, made Ability Beyond successful. He started in 1974 uh, at Ability Beyond, when Abil Ability Beyond took care of 12 individuals with, with disabilities. And today, he is the CEO of uh, Ab Ability Beyond, Tom Fanning. And uh, Ability Beyond now takes care of more than 2,000 individuals. So quite an amazing job. And I would ask you now, Tom, to tell us how you do that. Let me first say that I'm really, really honored to be invited to participate in the opening of this tremendous, tremendous facility. As everybody in this room knows, Belimo is a tremendously successful company, developing, producing world-class, amazingly complex products. And I was scared to death that somebody is going to ask me what I just saw on the tour, because it's all way over my head, but it's very, very impressive. The company is clearly, clearly state-of-the-art in its facilities, its technology, its innovation, and its production processes. But what has always impressed me the most, and what I suspect contributes in even larger measure to the success of this company, is the commitment that Belimo has to its workforce and the willingness Belimo has to provide opportunities for individuals to be the best they can be so that the company itself can be the best it can be. I really didn't ask her to do that. Ability Beyond has a long relationship with Belimo, as Lars indicated. For those of you who don't know much about us, we're a nonprofit organization that's been based in Western Connecticut for 60 plus years. 
We provide a wide range of services for people with various disabilities um, throughout this area, mostly within 50 miles of the greater Danbury area. Currently, we serve on a daily basis about 2,500 individuals with housing, clinical supports, training, and job placement services. We have recently begun a national consulting services working with corporations around the country on culture change and strategies leading to the successful employment of people with disabilities, from the mailroom to the executive suites. Our clients now include PepsiCo, American Express, Office Max, Office Depot. A lot of this, the energy and ideas for creating this corporate consulting service actually came from our relationship with Belimo. Uh, we now have about 40 people working here in three shifts on a daily basis. The culture I referenced earlier, the culture of acceptance, of providing opportunities for the workforce, whether disabled or not, is a culture that we can all be proud of in this, this community. Our experience with Bolimo uh, has, has helped us to conceptualize a program that will change employment practices nationwide. Um, and much of that has come from the culture that we learn from the people and the, the operation here in Danbury, Connecticut at, Bo at Bolimo. So again, I'm honored to be here. I am very grateful for the partnership that we have enjoyed with Bolimo over the years. Um, in closing, I want to particularly thank uh, somebody who recently retired from here, but I saw him roaming around earlier, Skip Arnett, who was a, a driving force behind the partnership that we have with Polimo, and also, of course, Lars van der Hagen, Polimo's leader, who has steadfastly supported our relationship from the get-go. Polimo is clearly a world-class company with world-class people and now a world-class facility. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Thank you Tom. And we have uh, actually something for Tom, right? We want to dedicate this painting to you. That's a painting of our building here. It also has the uh, ability beyond uh, bus on it. And it was made by a uh, artist from uh, the area, Paul Siegel, who did uh, this specially for us for the building and we dedicate this to you, Tom. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now in order to, to build such a facility for the planning process, to get everything approved, to push everything forward, you need a city that collaborates and has an entrepreneurial spirit. And this we found in the city of Danbury and its leader, Mayor Mark Bauten, who is actually mayor, he's in his sixth term, and he really created with uh, the, the Danbury area a economic powerhouse with uh, the lowest, consistently the lowest unemployment rate in the state of Connecticut. That's a couple points below the average of Connecticut as a whole, which is quite amazing. So now I ask Mark to tell us how he does that. Thank you, Mark. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Lars. And congratulations to you and John Coppola and your, your whole team. Uh, I'm really excited to be here today. This is a big deal uh, for our city and obviously for the employees here. And I have to tell you that nothing makes me happier when I, I've done the tour about five times now, six times or so. So I know a lot about your product, John. But nothing makes me happier to see so many of my ex-students from Danbury High School working here in the building. So if you're out there, good to see you and, and I'm very, very proud of you. 
I like to think that all the good things that happen in Danbury are all because of me, because I'm so wonderful, but the reality is that they happen because of the team that we have that supports our city. So I just want to introduce a few people to you. Our state representative, Jan Giggler, is here with us today, and she's an integral part of our team. Appreciate all the work that she does. Our judge of probate, Diane Yemen, is with us. And judge Diane is always supportive of our initiatives. And Bruce Tamala, our director of economic development. One of the most important guys you got to know if you want to do anything in Danbury is our director of permitting, Sean Herdy, along with George Gleason. And we appreciate them being here. Good job. And of course, Steve Bull is around, uh, our director of uh, the Chamber of Commerce. So we want to thank them and, and certainly appreciate all of their support. Finally, the last thing I want to say is that 80% of the employees here at this building live in the city of Danbury. That's an amazing, amazing statistic. So I'm going to make you one promise today that I intend to follow through and promise that I, my promise I will follow through on. We're going to fill every one of those darn potholes out there for you so you don't have to hit any more, okay? This face is on the case. Don't worry about it. I got it. But uh, again, congratulations to you all in Bulimo. You guys rock. This is a great place. I'm so proud to be here. Beautiful complex. Lars, congratulations to you as well. It's been great partnering with you. God bless you. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Mark. And also, also for you, Mark. So you can, you can put this up in your office. You'll see it every day. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark, and the city of uh, Danbury. Thank you for all your help. Now, our last special guest is someone who uh, was running the Limo Productions in 16 years and just retired a couple weeks ago. He looks very relaxed now, actually. Skip on it. Where is Skip? Is he coming? Ah. He's not on a time schedule anymore, you know, so. Skip, congratulations. Thank you again for all you did. You were instrumental for the success of Palimo over the years. And we want to dedicate also to you a painting. This is even larger, dedicated to the manage from the management team of Palimo Americas to you for all you did. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. It certainly wasn't me all the time, babes. It took every one of you in the field. It took every one of you here in this building doing the admin and the production operations. So thank you very much. But your turn will come, but don't leave too soon. I need those dividends and the stock to go up. Thank you, Skip. So, now before we start partying, I would like to thank the, uh, the Limo individuals who helped organize this event. So the overall leadership of this event had uh, Luciana, who's over there. Thank you very much, you put a lot of effort in this event that's really perfectly organized with the help, of course, of uh, Nadia, Nadia is over there, the Michaela, over there, Christine Silva, over there, then 
Cristina Pantaleo here. And in order to get this building ready, Mike Ganchel. And Julio Lopez, who, who got up at four, four o'clock this morning and, and started work all day long. And then, of course, many more. These are just the ones who were officially uh, in the uh, organization of this event. Many more have helped. So thank you very much. Thank you all to be here. And now let's party.